slow, but if you're playing a shooting game, I recommend you put it at 50. Alright. So next are the, the D-pad. You know, arrow up, right, down, and left. Now this right here I'm using is, I'm using games. So I pretty much already have my key set. You know. So now, right now, I'm going to show you a quick one using um, the Capcom one that I made. Alright. And I'm going to set my... Um, my right analog stick as a mouse because I don't, you know, feel like using it. So now, what you're using as a mouse, meaning left, you want to put it at negative 100 if you're using the mouse, or negative 50 if you're playing, um, right here, if you're playing PC games like shooters. Because you put it at 100, man, you're moving crazy. And now I'm going to use my uh, controller. Now I'm only moving left with the controller, see? And I can't even move up or down, just left. Alright, and then you do the same thing here. You set that to the right at positive 100. And same here for vertically. You set that to negative 100. So now I'm able to move left, right, and up, not down yet. Then you set this to positive 100. Now I'm using my 360 controller. Now, right here, to um, these are the triggers, like I said. This is the right trigger. I'm going to use that as left mouse. And this is the left trigger. I'm going to use that as right mouse. So yeah, pretty much I can click in web browse using my 360 controller by right clicking to enter and stuff like that. Alright, now um, these right here, like I said, I repeat again, are the left analog stick. Left, right, up, down. When you want to configure your games like Drift City or Soldier Front or Halo PC or something, you should always want to go to the control options and bring Joy the key up and just you know set the keys from you see on the game onto joy the key and you always want to name it so you know what game you're playing alright next is right here the uh... probe up right down and left these are pretty much used for the d-pad so now i'm gonna bring up my um, Mugen uh, windows configurator now i'm gonna go here to Mugen config and I'm going to go to keyboard. I'm not even going to go to joystick. There's no need to. I'm going to go to keyboard. Now, as you see here, that, um, you know, player, player one, that's supposed to be you, that's the controls, up, down, left, right, punches, A, S, D, kicks, Q, W, and E. Now, this is what happens if I play the game. All right, I'm going to just pick some random characters. I'll uh, play the game without the controller. Alright, now I'm going to use, I'm seriously going to use the um, the uh, keyboard. I'm, I mean, try to use the controller and I pretty much can't do anything besides move my mouse. So, I'm starting up the game now. It's, uh, it's coming up. take a little while my computer is kind of slow after I've already formatted it I should have just left it where it was that's what took me so long to get everything back because my computer I think kind of weird but I'm about to get it fast again so as you see right here now this is just right here is my uh, my mouse I can't do anything I'm seriously pushing buttons I can't do anything but this is when I'm using the keyboard I'm able to move and punch you know so now we got that taken out the way now you will want to go back to Mugen uh, configurator and you go to your config now once you see you know up down left right you open up joy the key correct and you bring it I'm gonna show you it now here's uh, pull up now you see over the joy the key that one was up so all you do is just go to keyboard and you hit up. That's it. Same thing. And you hit right. You just match everything underneath this. Don't even touch, you know, sliders or axis six. Or don't even touch uh POV twos. Don't even touch those. Those aren't shit. Alright. 
Now we're going to scroll down. Here's the buttons. Button 1 is A. Button 2 is um, B. Button 3 is X. Button 4 is Y. Button 5 is left bumper. Button 6 is right bumper. Button 7 is uh, back, you know, in the middle of the Xbox X controller, the guide. Button 8 is start. Now, button 9 is click the left analog stick, and button 10 is click the right analog stick. So now what uh, we're going to do is, remember, the uh, punch, the punch buttons were A, S, D. So I'm going to do is for A, I'm just going to put, you know, A, just for the hell of it. These are not my controls, though. I pretty much don't like it this way but I'm just doing it for this quick tutorial button 2 is S button 3 is D you don't have to do a disorder you, know, you can do it however order you want just you know because some people like playing with a low punch low kick with X and A and high punch and high kick with Y and B and that's how I do it and my bumpers and triggers are the mid attacks but some people play their fighting games different and uh, the last one here, Y, of course. Um, I didn't remember the control for that. Oh, it's Q. All right. I'm just going to put Q for the kicks. This is our kicks now. Left bumper will now be W. And E is for the last kick button, right bumper. And now we're pretty much finished. Now I got my controls for the Mugen fight. Like I'm using this for an example, it'll work everything. You just have to see the controls. And I'll repeat it again. These are the controls like this. Like you can see them in any game, you know, anything, as long as you see them. All right, now I'm going to bring up my Mugen. All right, and I'm going to go to uh, Arena. And now you've seen that last little fight with Kami and uh, Kyo. Now I'm going to bring that back up. Now this time, I'm using my 360 controller. I'm not using the keyboard anymore. I guarantee this is going to work. I mean, it's 100% guaranteed. But if you still have any problems or misunderstanding, just let me know. Now I'm able to use my controller. See? 